Oh, calm down, love. All right, Olivia. <laughs> I really enjoyed in the air drums on the end of that one. Do you know what? That is a great song. Olivia Rodrigo at Isle of Wight Radio. Uh, we were giving away tickets last week to the uh, the Lim- Limington... Lim- Limington Seafood That's Festival. That's the one. That is the festival that I'm talking about. June when? How was it, June? Brilliant. Did you, good. Brilliant. Good in one Thanks. word. Thanks. See you later. It was brilliant. <laughs> what did you eat, June? Oh, we had dirty duck fries. At a seafood, um, seafood festival, that is great. What is Classic a dirty, fish, what, the what duck. Is dirty duck fries? Duck fries fried in duck fat. A French fries fried in duck fat. Oh, lovely. Smothered with sauce and um, spring onions and all sorts of other mm. bits. Wow, that's, duck. Sriracha. that does sound great. <laughs> Sounds yeah, healthy. We didn't have the sriracha. Oh. It was lovely. It was, it was tasty. Right. Okay. What else then, did you um, have? Tempura prawns. Nice. Oh, lovely. Nice. Yummy. Yeah. Living the dream. And, um, living the dream. And then we had a smoothie each. Mm. Fruit smoothie. Fruit smoothie. Oh. Oh. Get your five a day after all the duck fat. So yeah, you, oh yeah, definitely. So you went to the Around seafood food festival, food. and the only thing that you had that was seafood was some prawns. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, but there was so much choice. Right. I it's mean, all, always I difficult. Had, I could have had lobster. I could have had anything. It was so much. So choice. you went for it prawns. Lovely. You chose. I the went, best. I love prawns. Yeah, <laughs> but but as I say, right out of the three it things you purchased, out. only one of them had anything to do with seafood whatsoever. Only, only one of them had ever sit, set foot in the sea. I would have been having oysters. But, I would have been having um, lobster, oh no, like caviar. Oysters, but, but, <laughs> I feel like oysters a, are the thing that people pretend donut, to like. Man, Paul. You they what? had a dinky donut. They had a dinky donut, man. Did That's what think... they call me sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Is that, did you think of Paul when you saw it? Oh, it's the dinky... I did, I did, actually, yes. Yeah. It's the dinky donut, oh, man. I did, I if, if Paul had one of those, it'd be to scale. <laughs> Look, it looks it like a real really size man with a real size donut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, June, always a pleasure was, to have you on the really show. It was a really great day, and, and thank you so much to Isle of Wight Radio for providing the tickets to go. Oh, it was oh super day. Day. it's our pleasure. Uh, we're always happy to do that because let's let's be honest, June. It was uh, down to Haley, Emily, and I to sort all that out. No yeah. one else was involved in that whatsoever. Well, it's us. I just thought I'd ring you and show our appreciation. That's it was kind. a lovely day. That's very, very kind, June. Uh, thank you so much. And uh, next time you go to the Seafood Festival, maybe try a bit more seafood. I'm just saying. Oh, yeah. Yeah, all right. Yeah, but there was so much choice. You'd be spoilt for choice. You wouldn't know what to have. Yeah, but, choose the prawns. <laughs> but you chose duck. Yeah, what, what's the fancy? And then, oh, well, I'll have some of that and you can have some of that and we'll share that and we'll do this. And that know. was really good fun. Good. Good, June. Uh, always really a pleasure good. to chat to you. Thank you so much for being on the show this morning. That is June. She won tickets uh, to uh, the Seafood Festival. I'll tell you what, if you like free tickets, we are going above and beyond this year. I'll tell you more about how you could be sorting out your entire school summer holiday for you and the children in just a few minutes' time. <laughs> First of all, on FM, online and on your smart speaker, let's get the very latest news and sports headline 7.31 right now. Thanks, Paul. Rishi Sunak is set to announce a plan to crack down on rip-off university degrees.